Hi, my name is Utsa, a software engineer on the DevTunnels team. DevTunnels is a service for developers that allows them to securely expose local web services to the internet. This is helpful for testing and debugging webhooks and web apps. I want to highlight you can also control who has access to the tunnel and you can use DevTunnels from anywhere. It's available in Visual Studio, across all platforms using the CLI, which is now in public preview, as well as available in VS Code using their built-in port forwarding and remote tunnels extension. DevTunnels has a ton of cool benefits. You can use it when working with webhooks, share in-progress work, have persistent tunnel URLs, see traffic using tunnel inspection, and you can do all of this knowing that DevTunnels is secure by default, meaning that by default, your DevTunnels will only be accessible to you. Just to note, DevTunnels is for testing and development, not production. So hopefully after using it, you'll be wondering how you were ever developing without using DevTunnels. DevTunnels, as said earlier, is available in Visual Studio, VS Code, and through the CLI and it is so easy to get started. For this demo, I will show you how to get started with our CLI. After downloading the CLI, first I'm gonna go ahead and log in using my Microsoft account. And you can log in using your MSA, AAD, or GitHub account. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use the DevTunnel echo command on port 8000, which creates a very simple HTTP server, but you will probably want to run your own server. Once I have my server running, I can go ahead and host a dev tunnel on the same port. And here I'm using the dev tunnel host command and specifying the same port that I'm hosting my server on. Once I host my tunnel on that port, I can see that it's hosted on port 8000 and I can connect to that tunnel and see what's being hosted on it via browser. After I click on that link, I'm gonna authenticate in since I don't have an anonymous tunnel. And then I come to this page that is just letting me know that I'm connecting to a developer tunnel. Then I can go ahead and see what I'm hosting on my tunnel. Right now, I'm not hosting a project, so when I connect to the tunnel, I just see the contents of the GET request I made to connect to it. Thank you so much for watching. We would love to hear your feedback, and you can do so by submitting issues on our GitHub repo. You can find this link as well as all our links to our documentation at aka.ms slash dovetunnel slash link tree. Thank you.